all right guys uh we're gonna be finishing very soon right now but here uh this is series number four and we're speaking about the walls walls to the churches yes we are not mentioning all the churches but i just want you to get the drift i don't know if you if you get what i mean you know I want you to get my drift, you know. So I'm mentioning these few churches so that you will be careful also with others that um, I will not mention because I'm not really familiar with all the churches. You know, I was just very familiar with salvation churches because they did get saved. Then Satan took over. Then they are no longer saved. They are just churchgoers wasting their time there in churches. But it's important to understand, you know, why I speak against churches so much and against pastors so much. I'm trying to expose Satan. I'm not exposing pastors. I don't care about them. I'm not exposing churches. I don't care about these buildings. But I'm exposing Satan. You understand? Because he is the guy who's blaspheming, who's making himself, you know, uh, Jesus. You know. So here, guys, uh, let me first uh, quote. It says, Woe to you, teachers of the law and Pharisees, you hypocrites. You shut the door of the kingdom of heaven in people's faces. You yourself do not enter. No, will you let those enter who are trying to. Right then, guys, um, here I want us to speak about the Jehovah Witnesses. Jehovah's Witnesses. First of all, guys, we need to understand that there are many gods. I want you to understand. And in these churches, guys, there are different gods sitting in these churches or guiding or leading these churches. But it's not the one who wrote the word. They might be reading from the Bible of the one who read the word. Guys, I'll make an example. You go to court, you'll find a Bible there. Yet these judges and these lawyers are not saved. They don't belong to the kingdom of heaven. Yet there is a, a Bible there. And people swear by it. And I'm like, what the heck? Oh, people like to rub. Guys, people enjoy rubbing shoulders with the best. They're trying to rub shoulders with God. They don't even know how to spell his name. Oh, jeez. Guys, it sucks. I'm telling you, you know, and these people can't even, guys, these people don't even believe. You know, guys, sometimes you find police when they interrogate you, they tell you that when they realize that maybe you are religious, so they try to use the Bible. Hey, they're trying to tell you that God is going to do this, do this. And I'm like, who the hell are you? Who, who, who the hell are you? I mean, hello, guys, you come to me. I'll tell you like it is. Guys, I know how to deal with hypocrites. So you you, you find the Bibles there in, in court. People are swearing by this. And I'm like, what the heck? What the heck? They, they These judges and lawyers don't even believe. Guys, best lawyers are best liars. If you want to find a best lawyer, find out if they can lie the best. Because they don't defend the truth. They are don't, guys, they don't defend uh victims they defend man guys they, they don't even believe in the bible they are lying through their teeth they in 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 court you know so i always say this that lawyers they don't defend the truth they defend liars and they also defend money if you've got money you will win the case because you can even bribe the the judge you can get rid of that evidence and you will win you know just because you won a case doesn't mean that you were telling the truth. It means you chose the best liar. Ah, guys, it's me with my mentality. Well, it is what it is. Nevertheless, guys, here we're speaking about Jehovah's Witness. Now, guys, there are so many Jehovah's. You know, there is Jah. Ah, guys, you know, I listen to reggae a lot, especially the, the, the instrument. Oh, I love it. Guys, you know, when you put bars. Ah, and then you listen to that sound oh guys me and music you can't separate me you know so i listen to that reggae music you know the the instrument in fact you know hey guys it's so nice i'm telling you it's so nice and i listen to them calling ja ja and i'm like damn they're calling ja you know it's jehovah you know but is it the jehovah that's the question is it the jehovah well i'll tell you it's the one who smokes the ha. Ah, guys. <laughs> it's the one who smokes the ha. I'm telling you. I love their instrument, but they're speaking about the one who smokes the ha. You know? So, there are so many Jehovah's. But the one they are preaching about in Jehovah's Witness. Ah, I don't know which one. 
I don't think it's the one who smokes Daha. I don't know which one, but it's most definitely not the one who wrote the word. Believe me when I tell you. That's why they rewrote the word. You know, you find in the last book of the Bible, which is the book of Revelation. Oh, guys, I love that book very much. My favorite book. One day I'll tell you why. Nevertheless, guys, uh, you know the last chapter, chapter 22. Jesus tells John, he says, nobody should edit, nobody should omit, nobody, you understand? And he says, seal it. You understand? It's over and done with. And you find these Jehovah's Witnesses, they go all over the world preaching their jar. I don't know their, the jar they are preaching. You know, they have rewritten the word because it's like, well, we're not in line with this. Hello? I mean, hello. Why would you call yourself Jehovah's Witness and don't, guys, and you are not in line with what he's saying? Guys, these people, they will tell you about the kingdom of heaven. Believe me, it's not the kingdom that Jesus is speaking about. Let me just be frank with you. It's not the kingdom that Jesus is talking about. Because, guys, Jesus cannot tell you that if you don't obey me, you will go to hell. And then you open a church and you tell me that there is no hell. I mean, hello. And you're telling me that you are a witness. Witnessing for who? You are editing, omitting what I said you shouldn't. And you're telling me that you are witnessing for who? You're joking, right? You're joking, right? I don't know this jar they are preaching about, but it's not the one who wrote the word. Ah, it's not the one who wrote the word. The, guys, there are so many jars. Guys, you know, people are blaspheming. There is certain guys all over the world. And here, he's, Satan is just blaspheming plainly. He's calling himself Jehovah. They call themselves Jehovah's Witness. And I'm like, what are you witnessing? Guys, you know, one time they came to me, to the house, and they were preaching. And at that time, guys, oh, I used to talk a lot. And I'll be like, what the heck do you believe in the Holy Spirit? And they said, no, we don't believe in the Holy Spirit because the Holy Spirit um, does not confirm that we are children of God. And I said, get out, never come back. And they called me Paul. They said that I'm stubborn. And I was like, yeah, I'm the stubborn one. Me and Paul are two peas in a pie. Get out, never come back. You know, you can't come to me and tell me that you're not a child of God. You don't believe in that. And you're telling me that I should be a child of Jehovah. Which Jehovah are you talking about? It's my father who is Jehovah. And your Satan now, who is now calling himself Jah, blaspheming, rubbish, nonsense. You know, and you coming to tell me that that Jehovah is not uh, uh, testifying to your spirit that you are the child of God. What if the Holy Spirit is testifying to me that I am a child of God? So you telling me that I should de desert the one who wrote the word and go to your one. You're joking, right? You're joking, right? I told them, get out, never come back. Never. Never. And guys, I don't feel guilty. I'm very here about it. Very, very happy I did that. They never came back. Most of the time when I see them passing, they, 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 I see them outside the gate, they're passing. I'm pretty sure they point to the houses. Uh, here, we dealt with Paul. Yeah. Paul woman. <laughs> you know, guys, I don't have time to play games. You know. So, these people, guys, they say, they don't believe in hell. There is no hell. And I'm like, what the heck are you talking about? You're telling me that you sleep around having sex with your boyfriend outside marriage and you love money, you love the things of the world and you're not going to go to hell. You're joking, right? You're joking. You're joking, right? You're seeking after riches. You love the things of the world. You call them blessings and you're telling me that you're not going to hell. You're joking. Maybe you're going to that jar who smokes Daha, not the one who wrote the word. Not the one who wrote the word. Ah, guys. You know, guys, I get peeved. Believe you me, I get peeved when people are really allowing Satan to blaspheme. Because it's Satan in that church blaspheming. He's blaspheming. He's edited, omitted the, uh, their Bible. Guys, I don't even read their Bible. I don't even have time. Guys, you know, guys, when I don't have time, I don't have time. You know, here, guys, we are exposing Satan. We're not exposing churches. What you do about it, guys, it's your prerogative. Guys, it's a prerogative. All I know is that I've got the authority to expose Satan. But what you do about it, it's your prerogative. I'm not offending you. If you're going to that church, get out. You're wasting your time. Let me just be clear with you. You're going straight to hell after leaving this place. They believe that they are going to their ancestors when they leave this place. Well, 
you go there. I don't, I'm not going to any ancestor. I'm going to that ancestor called Jesus. Ah, guys, the, guys, the real ancestor. The guy Adam came from. Obviously, that guy is my ancestor. Well, he's not dead. He just left his place. So they are going to their ancestors. Go to your ancestors. You're not going to Jesus. You understand? So, guys, it's important to understand these things, guys. These people are carrying Bibles, and Satan is rewriting Bibles and all and what, what, and what night and and what, what, guys. It's just, it's just upset. It's just upset. These are also onlookers. These are spectators. These are outsiders looking in. You understand? They don't belong to the kingdom of heaven. You know, they have these drawings about the kingdom of heaven. Believe me when I tell you, they are not preaching about the kingdom of heaven that Jesus was preaching about. Because you need to get saved to enter that kingdom. Let's just make it clear. To enter the kingdom that Jesus is in, you need to get saved. Guys, it's okay if you don't want to go to where Jesus is. But if you claim that you want to go to where Jesus is, you need to do as Jesus says. So these people, they will tell you that there is no hell. In other words, you go and do your rubbish. You go and rape children there. You rape women there. You go to heaven. Like, hello, are you for real? You busy there. You having sex outside marriage. You going to heaven. You joking, right? You busy there. You running after money. You going to heaven. You joking, right? He says you can't save both God and money. You saving it and you telling me that you going to heaven. You joking, right? You're loving the things of the world, you call them blessings, and you think you're going to heaven, you're joking, right? You're busy seeking after riches, and you think you're going to heaven, you're joking, right? You have five million wives there, church of hundred wives, and you're telling me that uh, you're joking, right? You, you really are joking, isn't it? Ah, guys, and you're telling me that there, there is no punishment for all this nonsense you are busy doing here on earth. You're joking. You're spiritually dead. You still have the sin of Eden. How can you obey God with that dead seed? Guys, if you're not saved, you can't. You can't obey that man upstairs. It's not in line with your spirit. You're still a sinner by default. So you're busy disobeying God today and you're telling me that there are no consequences for you. You're going to heaven. Which heaven are you talking about? Where? Where? Ah. Uh. Maybe going to Jah, the guy who smokes Daha, the god of Daha, not the one who wrote the word. Hello, hello, you joking? Ah, guys, I get peeved. I'm telling you, when I think about Satan blaspheming, making himself God, I get peeved because it's really, really not fair. It's really, really not fair for Satan to do this, you know. So, guys, I wanted to make you understand that you're not going to enter the kingdom of, of Jesus. You're not going to enter the kingdom of God if you are not saved. Get out of that church. They are teaching you nonsense. They themselves can't enter the kingdom of heaven. They will not allow you to enter. It's simple as that, guys. Simple as that. Guys, the word still remains the only source of information. That oh, I keep saying that and I will continue saying it. It still remains the only source, the only source of information about the kingdom of heaven. Just because it sounds like it, if it doesn't back like it, it's not it. These churches are backing hyena, not guys. Ah, if it doesn't back like a dog, it's a hyena. Let me just be honest with you, it's a hyena. So these churches, these churches guys are busy backing hyenas. Let me stop here, guys. We'll continue to the next church. But if you go to Jehovah's Witness, you need to know that you're not going to heaven. Because there is punishment. Hell is a spiritual jail. You need to know that. Yes, we're going to go there with your flesh. But Satan is also going there. So it's obviously a spiritual jail. You will go back to your body. Even if you burn these people, you will still go to hell. Because you'll go back to your body. Believe me when I tell you, you will go to hell. You say there's no hell, you will see it. It's simple as that. The man upstairs reveals hell to those he wants to reveal it to. So I know hell exists. Whether you don't believe it or not, hell exists. You can't take away that word, that man's word, just because you don't believe it. Your beliefs aren't that important. It's his beliefs. Thank you.